Hello, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. Today I have a video which <laughs> I'm kind of excited to film because right now we're all stuck indoors and there's not a lot to do except watch Netflix, play video games, and read. Alright, you can play board games also, but you know, there's plenty of things you can do. But one of them is read. And I want you, reader or non-reader, to be able to read more or to get back into reading. So first, we're gonna talk a little bit about getting back into reading and how to do that. So this video is gonna be divided into two parts. Number one, how to get back into reading. Maybe you're tired of Netflix shows. Maybe you're tired of Hulu. Maybe you're tired of watching 90 Day Fiance. Guilty. But, so, what do you do? Well, you might want to get back into reading, but how do you get back into reading? Which is something that I've actually had to do before, so I want to help you do that. So let's get right to the tip. Now, my number one tip is kind of strange considering what people usually say about getting back into reading, but I would say don't go back to a book that you love. Why? Because if you do, then the love you have for that book might be marred by the fact that you don't longer read anymore. Think about it this way. If you used to be a runner and you want to get back into running, the idea is to start off from the beginning, not from where you left off. Because if you try to start off where you left off, that's just not going to work out, alright? So in my mind, what you have to do is, number one, go into a book blind. Just find a book and start reading it. Of course, preferably a book that kind of calls to you, but not a book that you have read before. Because that is just, in my uh, personal uh, opinion, not going to help you get back into reading. That's just only going to help you kind of realize that you might not like a book that you used to like as much as you did. Tip number two is audiobooks. A lot of the times, people forget that audiobooks are reading, and if you consider audiobook not to be reading, mm -mm, get to click off this video because audiobooks are reading. Get over it. All right, so just consider an audiobook. I mean, maybe you aren't used to paying attention to a page for hours on end, but maybe if you put an audiobook on and clean the house or, I don't know, lay in bed before you take a nap, you might find that you get so into the story that you want to get back into reading. So audiobooks is a thing and Scribd right now is free for because of this whole, you know, situation in the world. So I would definitely check out Scribd. Even if it wasn't free for the next 30 days, they usually do a 30-day free trial. So try Scribd. They have a lot of new releases. They have amazing books on there. And by the way, this is how I read classics because um, reading classics like by hand sometimes is a little bit much. So audiobooks, great tip, great way to get back into reading. Tip number three, middle grade. I know, I know, you're an adult. What are you doing reading middle grade? Stop. Middle grade is amazing and if you really want to get back into reading and you have been without reading for years, this is a great way to get back into it because middle grade has incredible stories and they're usually faster to read so that you feel really accomplished when you read them. Really Penny? Another tip that I have for you is find book recommendations based off of books that you already like. There's a ton of book recommendation videos on YouTube where it's like, if you like this, then you'll like this. Look for those and maybe you'll find a new favorite. She's going in the letter box. Is she? Now we wait. I love my cat. Thank you, Penny. The next tip I have for you to get back into reading is to set yourself a goal. Now that goal shouldn't be, I'm going to read 100 pages every single day. That's setting yourself up for failure. Set yourself a little goal. Read five pages per day. Read one page per day. Maybe your goal is, I am going to get to page three today. Or, I am going to read one page. That's perfectly fine. But set a goal for yourself. That way, you feel accomplished and that makes you want to read more. And that's a great way to get back into reading. Tip number seven is, don't forget that DNFing is totally valid and it's totally something you can do. 
DNFing, for those of you that don't know what it means, is I did not finish this book. And a lot of times when we're trying to get back into reading, we have this idea that if we don't finish a book, we failed. It's completely failed. I can't do this. Well, I'm here to tell you that fuck that, okay? If you're not liking a book, if a book is not capturing you, DNF it. Life is too short for you to be reading books you don't like simply because it's a classic or because booktube recommended it or because you thought it was going to be your next favorite book. Just DNF it and get to the next book. <laughs> Tip number eight is a little bit TMI, but stop taking your phone to the toilet. Instead of taking your phone to the toilet, take a book. You'll read a page and you'll be fine. Your phone will be there when you come back. <laughs> Tip number nine, try comic books. I know, oh my gosh, are comic books even books? Yes, sir, they are. And again, like with audiobooks, if you're here to tell me that comic books are not books, you can just click right out of this video. Comic books are books. And if comic books are your jam, and if comic books or mangas are what's gonna get you to read again, then you do that. You go right ahead, BB, and you read that comic book and that manga. And it'll make you feel great when you finish it. Do not feel guilty over reading comic books and mangas and counting them as books. Because you know what? They're books. They count. That's like saying a poetry collection doesn't count. It totally counts. And in that vein, try poetry. Maybe you like poetry, maybe you don't like poetry, but it's a great way to get in like a little bit of reading and it makes you feel kind of good. At least it does to me. If poetry is not your thing, if manga is not your thing, if comic books are not your thing, ignore this tip. But if they are, just do it, you know? Like Shia LaBeouf says, just do it. Nike also says. And my final tip for getting back into reading is don't read. Seriously, this is a hobby. This is something you're doing for fun. And if it's not fun, then stop doing it for a while. I'm not saying give up on it completely, but what I'm saying is don't force yourself to read if you feel horrible doing it at the present time. Maybe after you watch, I don't know, The Alienist on Netflix, you want to read. Maybe after watching the Harry Potter movies, you feel like you want to read the Harry Potter books. Or maybe you just needed a break. It's okay. Don't force yourself to read. Again, reading is a hobby. You don't have to read if you don't feel like reading at the moment. I know as booktubers and I know as somebody that loves books, this might sound really strange, but some days I just don't feel like reading and that's perfectly fine. And that's one of the reasons that I read a lot because I do it when I want to, not when I'm forced to do it. When I'm forced to do it, I get into what's called reading slumps here, which is basically when you don't want to read. And maybe you just don't want to read right now. So don't. Enjoy yourself. Do something else. And when the right book comes and when you feel like it, you'll get back into it. I promise. <laughs> and this is part two, how to read more and how to read faster, coming from somebody who's a really slow reader. I know. I know what you're thinking. You maybe saw my last wrap up and I read sometimes 12 to 15 books per month, which is absolutely crazy. But actually, I'm a pretty slow reader compared to most people on booktube. Like it takes me forever to finish a book. But there are little tips that I have that make me a faster reader or that make me be able to get through books faster than the average. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, I'm gonna get to my first tip and this is like my number one tip of all time and that is use multiple bookmarks. Let me explain to you how this works. Here I have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson, which is pretty hefty. It's, it's quite chunky. It's, I think, it's five, it's over 500 pages. So as somebody who doesn't like big chunky books and who would usually read this like in a month how do i make myself read this in a couple of days well number one i know that usually i cap out at 150 pages a day so what i do is i take a first bookmark 
and I put it at page, you can't see this, and I put it at page 150, so around here. Sometimes I go to the next chapter or the previous chapter, but for the sake of the video, here we go. Bookmark is at 150 pages. Now if you see, it's right here, that is still quite a bit. So what I do is, I use a second bookmark where I put my, this is my, this is what I would call my ultimate goal for the day, all right? And then I have a second bookmark right here. The second bookmark that I have here, then I would put at my short-term goal. That is the goal that I want to get to the soonest. Now, this will depend on the book. Sometimes I use three bookmarks, sometimes I use four. And in this case, I'm going to put this at page 55. I would put it at page 50, but page 50 doesn't have anything on it. It just has kind of like drawings and stuff. So I'll put it at page 50. So I know that this is my short-term goal and that's a lot less. Now what happens when I get to this goal is that I change it to the next 50 and it's 50 until I get to 150. So really that sounds like three goals, which is totally doable, but I have two more bookmarks. This bookmark I'm gonna put at the page number where I am 100% sure that I can get to. And in that case for me is I put it every 10 pages. And it's very, very satisfying when you get to a bookmark and you're like, oh, I made it to my next one. And if you think about it, if you put this every 10 pages, then to get to your like short-term goal, you only have to move it five times. And that makes me feel really accomplished and like I did something awesome, so I keep reading. It just gives me that satisfaction of doing it. But now, what happens if I, for example, get to page 85? I get to page 85 and I'm done for the day. Maybe this is a dense book, I don't know. Well, then I put another bookmark in at page 85. And then I just kind of migrate all the other bookmarks to their designated area. So my 10 page goal now becomes page 95. So I take this bookmark, I'm sorry, I'm sorry you can't see this, but I take this bookmark out, put it at page 95, and then I create another short term goal. Maybe if I'm getting to page 150, I could put it at page 125. And look at that, I'll put it at page 127 because it's the beginning of chapter 15. So I just migrate that and the book ends up looking like this. And that way I just basically like divided the book up into so many little things that I can achieve that it makes it so much easier and it makes getting into the book so much quicker and you'll find that you read a whole lot more with this process. At least I do. It's like going to the gym. If you go to the gym and you expect to do 50 push-ups on the first go, you're gonna fail. At least I'm gonna fail, because I can't even do one. Okay, I can do one, all right? Whatever. But if I tell myself, okay, today I'm gonna do one. Tomorrow I'm gonna do two. Tomorrow, the next day, I'm gonna do two again. And, and so on. And by setting yourself smaller goals, that means that you can achieve your goal faster instead of saying, I'm gonna do 50 push-ups and then realizing on day three that you still can't do three push-ups and then you get discouraged. So that is my multiple bookmark little hack for reading more. The other little hack that I have for reading more is set yourself a goal, a loose goal. Again, we're talking about going slowly. So maybe you don't do the multiple bookmark things, but you set yourself the goal to read this in one month. You can do that. You can read this in one month. You can read, you can definitely read 500 pages in one month. Like, I don't know how many pages that is per day. But I'm pretty sure it's about five pages per day. So set yourself a little goal. It doesn't have to be a big goal and then if the book captures you, if you finish it before the month's end, there you go, you finished the book, congratulations. It's not about, I don't, I don't know why I titled this reading faster, I think this is more reading more. So there, there you go. And then go to the next book. Set yourself goals loosely. Also between that, try to not 
use big books for your goals. Use smaller books. Use something that is less than 600 pages. Use something that is less than 500 pages. That's really going to give you a lot more leeway, a lot more room, and it's going to make you feel a lot better. Another little tip that I have, which I actually have in my other recommendations video for how to get back into reading, is to read audiobooks. I find that I read a lot faster in audiobooks because I read at 2.5 or 3 speed, which I know sounds crazy, but trust me, you get used to it. It just helps you read faster. I don't, there's nothing else that I can say about that, except if you are here again to say that reading audiobooks doesn't count, you are wrong. Also, I'm sorry for the lighting change. I use natural light and the sky is just like, Monica's filming, we might as well do all the clouds at the same time. My tip number four to read a little bit more every day is to read more than one book at a time. I know this sounds crazy, but you know, sometimes you get tired of the same story and maybe you're not so much into it, you don't wanna pick it up. Well, child, honey child, pick up another book. It's fine, it's fine, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to. I recommend that you pick up shorter books and also try to pick up books from different genres so you don't get characters confused because if you're reading like two sci-fi and then suddenly you're like what is this character doing in this planet oh it's another book that's just gonna confuse you more so pick up two different books in two different genres and that way you also open a world of genres to yourself and my final tip for reading more is for those people who have kindle or e-readers now i don't know if other e-readers do this but my kindle does this where i can set down here so if you can see down here instead of setting it to how many pages i have left of how long i have left i have it set to how many minutes I have left per chapter and this is really cool because I think to myself okay if I get to 43 minutes I get to the next chapter so I'm just gonna read for 43 minutes and then I'll get to the next chapter now <laughs> this might not be the best example because these chapters are really long but sometimes you're like chapters are only five minutes long or seven minutes long you've got five minutes you've got seven minutes and before you know it you have read 40 minutes and you have read a bunch of chapters in a book so it's a great way to read a little bit more and a little bit faster every day and that's it those are my tips for reading more reading faster getting back into reading i think i'm just gonna leave this as one whole video um, and just divide it in two parts thank you so much for watching i hope this video helps you i hope you are staying safe and remember to like and subscribe and comment below if you have any more tips any more hacks to read more or to get back into reading i'm pretty sure there's so many people out there that would really appreciate that right now i will see you in my next one bye guys I hate doing these things. <laughs>